Hello, this is, um, this is F it Friday. This is not going to be pretty. <laughs> no, it's, uh, just informal. Um, I had some time and I wanted to take a break from editing. So I thought, let's go on to Twitter. And I got a message from Game Atomic who provided me with a link to their demo because I'd mentioned that I was interested in playing it because I thought I had a really neat art style. And I don't know when I see an art style like that, I wonder what the story is. And so it, it's a hook for me anyway. So I thought, okay, cool, great. I really want to play this now, but I also want to play it on stream, but I also don't want to wait until Wednesday. So let's take a break from editing the last moon video and try it out and just do an impromptu stream. That's it. That's, that's all there is to it. I can be flippant sometimes. Anywho, this is the sequel to Crano Origins, which I have not played before. And you know what? If, if we like the demo, well, we can go back and play that while we wait for this one to come out. The story of this one, um, it's not really much on the Steam page, but let's read it anyway. Nine levels of high bit action platforming with juicy melee combat. What do you... <laughs> I always wonder what people mean when they choose certain words like juicy melee combat. What exactly does that mean? I wonder what does that mean to the person that said it? And am I going to get the same meaning from those words? Sometimes I wonder that <laughs> magical abilities. Okay. Epic boss battles. Well, all right. You're promising me epic. So we'll see and secrets hidden throughout. So we're going to have to keep a watchful eye. Okay, hey, are we ready? Oh no, we still have more to read. Uh, oh, see, interesting. If you read the about this game section a little bit further down on the Steam page, well, I'll just I'll just read it. Crano Rebirth is a high bit action platformer with crunchy melee combat. Crunchy. Earlier they described it as juicy. What is juicy and crunchy at the same time? Hmm. Hmm. I'm drawing a blank. So, oh yeah, I probably should mention. I'm a little bit inebriated, so bear with me. Anyway, where were we? Um, crunchy combat. Yeah. Fun platforming, hidden secrets, and tricky puzzles. Slash your way through nine action-packed levels, ranging from dusty old crypts to the heart of an active volcano. Nice. I look forward to seeing that. Gain awesome abilities along the way to aid you in your adventure, like the Hellfire Punch and the Executioner's Axe. Hmm. Featuring nine levels, some with branching paths, a fun mini boss battle at an epic. They capitalized it. I had to emphasize it there. An epic boss battle at the end. Each level also has hidden secret rooms with loads of treasure, hidden health and essence upgrades to help you on your quest and system requirements. It's again, potato. Anywho, let's get to the game. Whoa. That is mixed a little loud. Hang on. Hmm. I wonder if that's what happens in the previous game. <laughs> He's carrying his head. <laughs> well, let's try these out. Huh? Hmm. I can't dash or use magic, but then again, maybe I... Oh, okay. Is that destroyable? Okay, so some foreground background... I well, foreground-ish background items can be hit for coins. I don't know what that is yet. Oh, we got the names for the guys. That was a crate grave crawler? Well, hello. It's not often in games that you get the names of the of the things that you're destroying. Usually it's in like the manual or something. So, whoa. So I appreciate knowing that. Wait, hang on a second. What was this? Fire with B. Sounds like a TV show. Oh. What is that? Where'd those bats come from? Did you guys see those? Like little green bats that were flying around? If hurt, hold LT, left trigger, to heal. 
How's that work? Oh, so that uses magic. Ow! Oh! That's neat. The bats fly out from you when you get hit. What's this? Dash power! So now we can... Okay, cool. Well, let's figure out this dash first. Can we jump and dash? Okay. Can we dash and jump? No. That sucks. I understand, like, it, if you give your characters the ability to do a dash jump and cover that much distance, you may have to make changes to level design. That's one of the things I love about the Mega Man X games is the dash jump. Probably use that way more than I should, kind of recklessly. Bounce off enemies in air. Oh, this is the pogo uh, thing. I, that was bad. Where, oh shit, I didn't even know where I was. I swear, I've played platformers before. I do it every Monday. What are those? I don't think I know yet. Um, can I... T like... Huh. Is there some way I can activate these? Not hitting it. Not... Not dashing into it. Um, what else can I try? Nope. Okay, you know what? Let's explore this other path. Wait. Did I destroy that bone with the scythe? Because that should have hit me. I need to find an enemy that hurls projectiles. Ow. Oh, okay. I can destroy this... I can destroy projectiles with my scythe. That's cool. wonder what else it works on. Huh. Do I want to destroy these? Oh. Okay, so that's a thing. Shit. What? Where's my ammo? Where is it anywhere? Oh, wait. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I don't know how obvious it was to anybody else, but the ammo is in the top left corner. It's that, it's basically you have a uh, four chamber pistol. Guessing I can. Ah. We found a thing. What's this? Side damage up. Yeah. What the hell is this? I don't have a key. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hang on a second. I want to see something. <laughs> oh, shoot. I can't get to those coins. I totally squashed that thing, though. That was crazy. Oh. I... I know a boss area or mini boss area when I see one. You're not fooling me. <laughs> uh, where? Here? There we go. Yep. Oh, this is just a challenge room. Oops. Need some place. Honestly, I really like this combination of weaponry. And the fact that you can't just spam your gun, like you don't have unlimited ammo and unlimited magazine size, you actually have to think when you use it. <laughs> that poor guy's having a bad day. As far as magic regeneration goes, there's, there's not a ton. So it's still kind of balanced. I mean, I've got a full health bar right now, but I have no, um, no other magic I can use. So far, anyway, it's it feels really really balanced. 
as far as the difficulty and just what you're able to do and you're slowly and wait what did i just get <laughs> i didn't even read that shit <laughs> up and x oh is this that other attack oh okay oh that's fun oh hello Golem Punch spell. How powerful is it? Mm. Ow. So, it does like standard 20 damage, but I guess in a row of enemies? So I don't really think that would be... That might not be that useful against a boss. But if you're like... If you've got a bunch of enemies in a line, then it's probably going to be very effective. See, Golem spell would probably be good now. Yeah. Okay. That was pretty good, actually. What are these? What? Oh. Neat. This thing just runs away from you if you get close to it. But it's able to cast underneath you. <laughs> okay. I like that enemy design, actually. It's different. Rotten apple core, dude. Hmm. The enemy designs are pretty interesting. I mean, they look good. They all do different things. Um, and hell, I'm seeing enough of a variety in them in just the short little bit that I've played. Again, that may be for the purposes of the demo, just showing what the game's got. <laughs> So this is the first signpost I've read that isn't a helpful tip, it's a warning. What are you? What the hell? Oh. Okay, so let's unpack that. Those things shoot fireballs. And man, the knockback on those is really high. Uh, I probably could destroy them, but I was too late. Not only that, but Crano boy here can't swim. <laughs> Wow, they attack quick. Oh, that's interesting. I think the bullets also... Um, destroy projectiles. We'll have to check that out a little bit. Yeah, they do. Neat. Yeah, you know what? I... I'm really liking this, actually. <laughs> I wonder what this is. Yeah, let's, uh... I, I... This is our first boss fight, so... I'm gonna guess... We gotta hit him in the red bit. Huh. Let's say hello. You dare enter my forest. I wasn't aware the forest belonged to anyone. Would you mind telling me who gave it to you? You must be nuts. Wicked Willow rules all. And not bowing down to your king is an act of treason. <laughs> you think I see the root of the problem? Sorry, that was really... Oh, shit. Quick. Oh, that's how we're doing it. Oh. It's like, um... <laughs> the first stage of the devil in Cuphead. that one. Ow. That's off. <laughs> Alright. That was quick. But... Challenging. I would have been okay with a longer fight. Like if um, if the boss had maybe three times the HP, I would have been fine with that uh, being more protracted. Right on. Ooh. 
new biome, new area, new music. Oh, those things again. Probably one of the most annoying enemy types. I don't I don't say that as uh, I don't say that to mean that they're bad. They're just annoying to deal with in game, which that's fine. That's fine. I understand. Not every not every enemy should be a pleasure to deal with. Um, what does this do? What? Oh, that's neat. Oh, we're going in. Is this a sewer or something? What's this? There was one whom could walk on fire. Oh, oh, I know what they mean. How the hell? I'm supposed to do like a downwards. <laughs> How far across is it? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I'm supposed to... <gasps> oh, okay, okay. How the hell? Oh, got it. The whom was you? <laughs> Thanks, game. What are you giving me? Cross shard spell. What does this do? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, what? This is... This is dope. So I just cast the spell and it just auto-fires at enemies for me. This is... Freaking cool. <laughs> Okay. I hope there's an achievement for the number of times you do that in a game, because I want to get that achievement. It's four. Right? Three or f four or five. Oh, hello. You're new. You look like something out of, inspired out of Super Mario 3. I hated those guys. Damn it. They have pretty high attack frequency. It's not a complaint, just an observation. Who are you? Hmm. Oh, shit. I'm not reading. At least the skeleton isn't stuck to the guard's stinky stew are all steamed up. Arg, Master said this was a very important and dignified position. Your master lied. Nothing dignified about duty duty. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot my crano voice. I grow tired of, your, of words. It's time to end you. Sorry. I didn't... I was not prepared. Whoa. What? Oh. Okay. Yeah, three times in a row. Oh shit. What? What's going on? Oh, I wonder if that's. Okay. This doesn't seem to extend. Whoa. To the full range of the screen. Oops. That was a mistake. No. Oh shit. I feel like I should have done better against that guy. There's our key.
Oh, bitch. <laughs> Once you think you know what their range is and they just completely exceed it. <laughs> that is probably one of my favorite ways of defeating an enemy in this game so far. <laughs> Never gets old. Key. I was pretty sure I was going to get a thanks for playing our demo screen there, but there's more. Oh, shit. I forgot what I needed to do there. What, what do you do? Are you just... A heat-seeking missile? And... Moving platforms now? Oh, what are those? Okay. So I take it those things hurt. Let's try not to find out. What's this? Use dash blocks. How? Um. Well. Oh. Oh, okay. So. Huh. That's, um. Where have I seen this before? Shoot. Oh, the first Constance demo had a very similar. Well, similar mechanic. A movement mechanic. They. The difference was, with that one, you had to go in at a certain angle to come out at a certain angle. This one, you choose which way you're going to end up, and you only have a limited amount of time to do it. But it looks like you can... You don't have to wait for it. You can just rush the dash by pressing dash down. So, oh, shit. Spikes. So, whoa. <laughs> well, I mean... At least there's more than one way to do something. Hello. Are you another two boss, three boss fights? In one demo? You! You turned my predecessor into mulch. Huh? I was but a seedling then. I'd love to get revenge and squash you. <laughs> but we need your help. Join our quest. Let's bring Crano Rebirth to life. Be over to Kickstarter. Oh, this is the end of the demo. Thank you for the support. All right, right on. That was, oh, let me think about this. That was, um, oh, I really enjoyed it. Oh, that was a lot of fun. I've been playing a lot of Mega Man lately, as you may know, and it has a similar very similar style in some ways to like it's like playing as zero in either Mega Man X3 or X5 where you've got close range you specialize in like close range weapons but you've also got your ranged weapon as well and I like that it's limited as well so you can't just quickly reload you have to destroy enemies in order for it to reload some explanation of that in game would have been nice but I mean it it's not necessary if you're relying on your, if you're if you're relying on the people playing the game to figure it out on their own, you don't want to hold their hand. It's not like it's something that's impossible to figure out. The bosses were neat, but like I said, I think I could have done. I would have enjoyed that fight being longer and more drawn out. But that's me. That that's very much a personal thing for me. Like I'm not saying that everybody would want that because some people would think that that's fine. Some people might think that that's too easy, too difficult. But I want the I, I enjoy the challenge of a of a difficult boss fight right and the feeling that you get after you defeat a difficult boss fight like you actually like did something you you, you know you use some skill it wasn't just easy the game didn't just hand it to you yeah you know what i think um when i've got some time i'm gonna there's no release date for this that i saw anyway but when i've got some time i'm going to probably check out the first one i don't know if there's a demo for that one but yeah I think it's worth my time because I really like this and I wouldn't mind seeing where it came from like what the first version of this was but yeah as far as uh, as far as I'm concerned 
I'll play this on release because I like platformers like this. I like how balanced everything feels. The enemies are difficult enough and it's one of those situations where one of them might be a bit of a challenge, but as soon as you add another one, it almost feels like the challenge becomes exponential. Like the, the enemies are, as far as look and abilities, I think well designed, very well designed. And it, it plays with Kranos, again, like with Kranos abilities and what he can do, it provides a challenge, but not an insurmountable one. Yeah. Well done, Game Atomic. I really like your demo. Anywho, this was a lot of fun. If you have the opportunity to play this demo, I highly recommend checking it out, especially if, you, um, if you're a fan of platformers. I would check this out. Like, my goodwill going forward for this game is pretty high. Yeah. So, you can check it out. I will uh, provide the Steam page link. So, yeah, do check it out. Well, that's going to be it for me. I did what I said I was going to do. So, go out there, go play some fun-ass games, and uh, come back and tell me about them, and then recommend them to me. <laughs> Seriously, it makes my job easier sometimes. 